everybody, this is Chris from The Birders Show. Uh, while you're here, please do make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. It helps us out a lot on our mission to make birding more accessible. And today, Diego, my co-host and I, are going to be reacting to the much discussed Doritos Birding Super Bowl commercial, which I have to confess, I haven't seen all the way through yet. I don't, I don't watch football. I know Diego's joining me here from, from, from the countryside. Diego, do you watch the Super Bowl? Did you see this advert? To be honest, I've never watched any single, you know, like North American uh, yeah. football. Uh, but yeah, I, I heard, I, I've been seeing comments about this this commercial, so I'm actually really looking forward to get to watch it with you, mate. Well, without further ado, I guess let's play it and react and, and see what we think. So here we go. Well, I mean, straight away there's a bird there, Pit right? Pita? It's a blurry bird. I mean, it's a pitta, right? It's a, I, I saw people saying on Twitter, like, blue, blue wings I mean, pitta, to, to be honest, I, I, I wouldn't say from the top of my mind which species, but certainly we are brought to the to the old world tropics. We are we are in Asia anywhere, you know. But that plant on the right-hand side of the screen is I see. looks like a monstera, I see. right? The I see at monsteras, you know, but they are, they are native to the new world tropics, you know. We know, we know we are in planet Earth. We know <laughs> We're on planet sure. Earth. Okay, we've narrowed the planet down. Okay, cool. All right, so let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's keep going. The, those binoculars are... What magnification would you say those binoculars were? Those are gigantic. Oh, you're getting, you're getting into the birder show camp here where we ask people like <laughs> if they are on the 8X or 10X or 12X. These are what? What do you think? These are like 365X. They are big. I feel big. like they kind of have to be almost big as well because like the biggest signifier for people in the world who know about birding is the binoculars, right? So you have to kind of throw it in people's faces like this is a bird watcher. These are big binoculars. So there's a couple of birds singing in the background here in this beginning part that I'm hearing. What do you think? What do you think of those calls? You pick up anything? Any ID? I mean, there, were, there, there was clearly a, a, a trogonish, you know, thing like <whistles> black, black, yeah. black tailed trogon kind of thing, you know, like from Central America and the, and the kind of the Pacific sounds a little to me. And you mentioned that you, someone was tweeting that, that there was probably a whipple wheel or something like that. There is a in the background i saw somebody tweet eastern eastern whipple in the background no. i think that's not, not a bird that i know very well actually got my life recently only but it was a little bit of in the background okay so she's got a big binoculars right and then we pull back a bit and we can see that she is halfway up a, a giant tree is what it looks like to look have at you, this to look at this have bit. you done that have you gone birding high up in trees before i've been up in platforms in trees like observation towers but i don't think i've ever fully climbed a tree to look at to look at a bird before. But we did, we did once to check like nesting chestnut crested cotingas eye level in, in Jardin, you know, several years ago, 2009. That kind of represents the adventurous spirit of yeah. birders and birds in the jungle are tough to see, tough to sweat a little bit. I like that. Okay, oh. so she's dropped the Doritos in the ground and the sloth is interested and is coming down the tree and is crawling. And so the sloth is now eating the Doritos and makes the <laughs> sound. I feel, I feel like we should say for everybody watching, like, as much as this is kind of funny and everything, like, don't feed Doritos to wild animals. Maybe that seems obvious, but... I mean, yeah, <laughs> don't, don't feel, don't feel, you know, like native fauna. So then we cut There's out... There's a deer coming there. Nice. Oh, so I see, like, everyone in the, in the jungle is coming to check on these Doritos. So bear, big like grizzly, grizzly bear. bear there. Okay, so I think we can establish at this point that w the people who made this advert evidently are not bothered like you said about species accuracy like we're just in a not even generic... tropical now not even tropical is is going with you know grizzly bears so it's it's for all earthlings for all human beings inhabiting this planet man a beat a beatboxing fox yeah, yeah. there you are all, okay. all the animals are happy oh what do we have singing. here that's a vermilion that... flycatcher right it's a good vermilion cardinal there you are. It has like a dark, dark mask, a little darker than they normally have, no? But it looks pretty cool, pretty, pretty well done. But it's a vermilion flycatcher, not cardinal. Ah, I'm just... This happens to me all the time. <laughs> no, this happens to me all the time. I mean, let's don't edit this part because, you know, I started birding in Latin and I still do it in Latin all the time. And I have to translate to the English name, so I just said vermilion and, you know, it's, yeah, flycatcher. Well, vermilion flycatcher makes more sense in this context than the cardinal which would yeah, be yeah. really weird right like the vermilion cardinal in this jungle right so we've got the vermilion flycatcher singing the the baby baby line from from push it if you you're a bird song guy if you were going to pick a bird that would be the best bird to like whistle that melody what would you choose 
I mean, if we if we get a little nerdy here, it's yeah, it's not gonna be the flycatcher, of course. But I, 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 what what family of birds will you go for? I think we're thinking the same. Yeah, you, I mean, I think it's probably at least well, in our neck of the woods, it's gonna be a wren, right? They're the most skelly, kind of melodic, skelly breasted. I would say, you know, is we call it buscatono in Spanish because it's looking for the right pitch. You know, it's like. It's not a fancy bird as the card as a as a vermilion flycatcher. Yeah, I think the wrens are the best singers or some of the best singers, but they don't look as good as a vermilion flycatcher. But so I'm looking now, so the birder is up in the tree, she's noticed down below all the chaos that her Doritos have created. She comes down to get her Doritos back and the sloths the sloth's not having it. That was a quick sloth. That's a, that's a, I mean that doesn't happen. Sloths they move a little bit quicker than people think when they're threatened, right? But not that quick. Uh, not that quick. That, that, that was, you know, like Schumacher, <laughs> Schumacher is slow. Okay, so we, she turns around now and sees... Yeah, that's like one of your regular foxes from Europe, isn't it? It's just very wide below. Everyone's kind of happy there. They're definitely happy at the end. Look at that. To sum this video up, I mean, I, this is my first time watching it properly all the way through. Uh, I mean, I think the idea that it's a birding advert is maybe a little bit, because I saw people saying it's an advert about birding and I thought I was going to see more birding, but it's, there's a birder in it, yeah. for sure. And you have to, you have to applaud that, you know, to really, to really celebrate that any, any brand would choose a birder, a naturalist to, to show whatever they want to show. And, and in this case, I would even say like, you know, choosing, choosing a woman here is one of the facts that reflects how the birding community has been migrating and moving towards. There is way more women these days birding. Yeah, it's pretty cool that there's a brand choosing to show a birder, but they're choosing to show kind of a young person, like you said, a woman birder, rather than the stereotypical image yeah. of the, the uh, old uh, European safari, guy in the, yeah. in the pith helmet <laughs> with the big, yeah, exactly, yeah. with the safari outfit and stuff. That's kind of cool. I'm not the, the you know biggest fan of, of any of these, let's say, brands or sports or, you know, I, barely wa I, I don't watch TV. But to be honest, you know, having having birding shown in massive, you know, millions of people television show or sports is is to is to celebrate. is is a good thing. It's making birding yeah, showing sexy birding. You know, birding is sexy. Um, okay, so cool. Uh, push it, flaming hot. Oh. The Super Bowl ad uh, approved. Birder approved. Nice to pretty, pretty nice actually to, to see you made a good excuse to just you know connect. Uh, see, yeah. see each other, you know, see the guys in the office that are filming you, Julian and everyone, I love it. I'll just keep birding here. <laughs> yeah, we need we need more adverts. Yeah. We should appeal to people out yeah, there, yeah, please, yeah. companies, make more adverts about birding so Diego and Indeed. I can hang out more Indeed. and talk about them. Por favor. That's the challenge. <laughs> cool. Everybody who watched, thanks for watching. If you have any comments about the Doritos birding Super Bowl advert, please put them in the comments. And don't forget to like our channel, subscribe to it, uh, check us out on Patreon to support our mission to make birding more accessible to people around the world and hopefully put more birders in TV adverts going forward. Who knows? Thanks for watching.